Hello, I'm Jordi Ortiz, and I'm going to present Enforcing GDPR Regulation to Vehicular 5G Communications Using Edge Virtual Counterparts. This paper is going to be presented in the 5G World Forum within the workshop 5G Security Current Trends, Challenges and New Enablers. The General Data Protection Regulation is a EU regulation law on data protection and privacy in the European Union and the European Economic Area. It also addresses the transfer of personal data outside the European Union and European Economic Areas. Traceability, identity exposure and ethical management of personal data are essential in the connected world. The EU defines the GDPR as a framework to unify, unify data, security and privacy assurance to be implemented by European Union countries. Article 5 of this regulation defines six clauses. Lawfulness, purpose limitations, data minimization, accuracy, storage limitations, and integrity and confidentiality. Article 32, on the other hand, places responsibility of data breaches and or risk associates with data processing on controller and processor. The regulation also uh, explicitly mentions, mentions encryption, but not specific methods to be used. 5G and its use in vehicular environments must protect users and assets and if not, be able to find who is liable. Since the GDPR is a regulation, not a directive, it is directly binding and applicable, but does provide flexibility for certain aspects of the regulation to be adjusted by individual member states. 5G, on the other hand, is coetaneous to GDPR, therefore, Privacy and security has been taken into account by design. 5G services include enhanced mobile broadband, massive machine type communications, ultra reliable and low latency communications that are, on the other hand, the most suitable to be used for cooperative connected automated mobility or CCAM messages. The Next Generation Mobile Networks Alliance Describe the most probable threats to appear and privacy, as well as non-matching policies between European Union members, appear among them. In vehicular networks, messages may be sent over unencrypted wireless channels, and asymmetric cryptography is considered resource-hungry, even if in cars battery are not considered problem like in IoT, wireless channel utilization and CPU time are still to be optimized. An attacker may take profit of service access to create a profile of a given vehicle. Roaming complicates even more the fulfillment of GDPR since each member country adjusts the regulation to their needs. Mobile edge computing is foreseen as crucial in CCAM environment for both security and quality of service. Advanced driving applications are going to be deployed as virtualized services instantiated dynamically and or migrated closer to the user. In vehicular environments, the concept of virtual onboard unit or virtual OVU can be envisioned as a virtual counterpart for each vehicle OVU. In that line, two previous projects on which this proposal technically relies on are surrogate and migrate, which were demonstrated within the 5G in fire project context. Surrogate is the basis where the virtual OVU is presented, not only as a proxy, but also as a catching mechanism and the processing of loading unit. Meanwhile, Migrate relies on surrogate and solves the migration of virtual OVU services seamlessly 
taking advantage of coordinate, coordinated SDN data forwarding and packet rewriting to fulfill transparent OBU to migrated newly instantiated counterparts. Relying on the migrate work and in the context of Inspire 5G Plus and 5G Mobits, this paper proposes the use of a counterpart to enforce GDPR regardless the car OBU firmware, simplifying law fulfillment to car vendors and drivers. In addition, making a fully secure system is unachievable. Therefore, liability when law is broken needs to be provided. To that end, distributed ledger technologies are ambition to stamp data transmit. In addition, it is ambition that over-the-top companies also get involved in particular systems and smart contracts may be of use when the operator delegates responsibility to third parties. Virtual OBUs are not simple proxies, and their seamless migration between operators from the OBU point of view require a direction mechanism and a real low warm-up delay. The later can be mitigated by using BNF pools ready to use, but the former require SDN like networking. To ensure that the virtual OBU is GDPR compliant, two alternatives are envisioned. Using an audited copy from the operator or offering a certification mechanism by the operator hosting the VM in its Mac. This would be really necessary in case that over the top are going to be involved in the solution. Trusted execution and environment techniques need also to be deployed, employed to ensure data integrity, but may also be used to ensure that VM templates haven't been altered. Likewise, operations should be tampered in a DLT chain to provide with desired liability. Communications between OBU and virtual OBU need to be protected and several solutions have been already proposed. Among them, employing SDN-based cache exchange solutions is ambition in addition to adapting or incorporating already existing IoT data protection mechanisms. For the solution to be accomplished, there is a characteristic required from the 5G network and that is the detection of the OVU mov movement and notification to the GDPR virtual OVU based system. In addition, two alternatives are possible for the VNF migration. One is to launch a fully new VNF, including a new virtual OVU, unaware of the previous OVU association, therefore making the system non seamless. And the second one is employing data migration to make the OBU migration agnostic. This second approach can be done by employing distributed cluster databases that will be deployed over the operators available as backend services to which the virtual OBUs are connected. This figure is a preview on how the proposed solution can be mapped into the Inspire 5G Plus architecture in a zero touch management closed loop. This is a work in progress. As a conclusion, virtual representatives discharge drivers and vehicle manufacturers from being aware of the existing country bounded privacy protection laws. Roaming situations increase the complexity and introduce concerns on data protection, but also provide means to customize processes based on location. Additionally, security measures are needed above 5G embedded security to assure data confidentiality. There is the possibility to employ SDN for key redistribution and the virtual OBU model simplifies the migration between protection methods. Ensuring law enforcement implies liability, and DLT and TE are envisioned as key technologies for it. Thank you for your attention.